Oh, hi there. Didn't see you there. My name's Tristan, but on YouTube, I'm known as Lone Axiom. Chances are, if you stumbled upon this video, you're looking for some outdoor adventure or some good old-fashioned metal detecting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're in luck. I give you Jim Kenson. Enjoy, and take it easy. February 15th, 2013, snowing, 25 degrees, I'm going to go metal detecting. Looks like a good time to me. Well, I just had my first wheat penny. Don't know what year it is, can't see it that well. Second coin of the day. You can kind of get some perspective about how deep it was. Glad to have it. Well, there's my second wheat penny. It's a little bit iffy signal, but I got it. All right, there's my third wheat penny. And this time I had that piece of crap in the hole with well, it. Well, there's wheat penny number four. I felt like there has to be some silver here if I could just uh, take the time to find it. I just found the watch. There you can see it. It's, uh... I can't really make out what, what it is. Clean it up and I'll show it to you later. Cool. Well, I just found three more wheat pennies and a nail on this plug here. So that takes me up to seven wheat pennies on a day. Doing pretty good. Has to be silver here somewhere. Well, not every hole can be filled full of money. But it's a nice little item. Don't dig them up all the time. Well, this hole here held some kind of tag. Maybe a uh, kid's police badge or something. Got the right shape. Let's see if there's some writing on it after I get home. I'm not too sure what this is. I believe it's some kind of token. It's too light to be silver, but it's not copper. So we'll see what it is here in a minute. There you can see it says uh, good for five cents in trade. And you turn it over says J.M. Winchling or something? Connersville? So it would be Connersville, Indiana. See if I can't clean it up and get a better picture at the end. Well, I just dug up this uh, copper bracelet. Cool. How about that? I got an eye collect stuff, dude. A green one this time. Cool. Well, there you have it. I have another wheat penny. Cool. And another wheat penny. I'm not sure what this is. Nine, maybe? i count them when I get home. Okay. I finally got silver. And I got nice silver. I, uh... I almost gave up on this hole. See how deep it is. And it's kind of a big plug. Had a hard time finding it. It's underneath here. Right there it is. Isn't that beautiful? 1900. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am excited. These just do not come every day. Sweet. That right there is a very pretty coin. I am so glad I dug it. I just about gave up on this hole down in there deep really iffy signal there you see it all right in the same hole was that quarter I got another weak penny just kept searching with my pin pointer then my detector and I got it you can see snow starting to fall again so I think I'm going to head home I've had a very nice day and I couldn't be happier well, I'm home. Unfortunately, it looks like I've lost the uh, badge thing I found. Must came out of my pouch while I was hunting. Here you can see I did did uh, dig a bunch of junk. That copper bracelet, the uh, oil lamp piece, the uh, matchbox car thing here from a lock, sorted pool tabs. I got two of those, one a pop top, 
and one a regular pull tab. Got a bunch of nails. Piece of a uh, dog hook. Some aluminum. Got a piece with a tag of some sort on it. And a gutter piece. I did manage uh, 12 pennies in clad, a quarter and a uh, dime. Got this, I don't know, some kind of flat washer. But now for the good stuff. I did manage to get 10 wheat pennies. This really cool token, which, uh, you know, that's, that's an, almost as good as a quarter. And there's the quarter, the best find of the day. I did manage to put a little bit of nick in it right there. But like I said, as deep as it was down, and uh, since it wasn't pinpointing quite right, may have nicked it, but at least I got it. And you can see where the wheat penny was stuck to it. here's that watch looks like a woman's watch still got moisture in it I can't quite make out that brand somebody knows you can uh, leave a comment and tell me I don't usually find the whole watch with the band in place so it's kind of nice kind of cool anyway thanks for watching happy hunting